grade really is a reflection of how rapidly dividing we think the cells are. We can determine that, again, by looking at the cells, how they look under the microscope, and by special stains. Two key ways that we determine grade are something called Ki67 and mitotic index. Those are both ways of determining how rapidly dividing the cells are. And that helps us put the grade into three buckets, grade one, grade two, and grade three. The mitotic index is where the pathologist actually counts cells. What they, what they do ideally is to print out about 500 cells or such and they look at and they visually do a count and uh, that that's, gives us the biology as it relates to what we think of in terms of type 1 where the mitotic index is less than one mitotic cell per 10 high power fields. So that's essentially saying the tumor is not growing. As we go up in aggressiveness, you can see that when we get to 2 to 10, that's a totally different biology. And we want to respect that from how we monitor that patient, surveil that patient, uh, and how we treat that patient with medications. The other way of doing it, which is even more accurate, is to apply a chemical test to the cells called Ki67 or Ki67. This is a, a chemical reaction that only takes place in cells undergoing cell division, and then you could count them up, or you could even use computer-assisted image analysis and scan very large numbers of cells to determine a percentage of cells dividing. And differentiation really talks about uh, how, how the uh, tumor appears relative to a normal uh, appearance of those cells of origin. And usually here we're talking about well differentiated and poorly differentiated. Uh, well differentiated uh, tends to have a much slower course. Uh, they tend to grow slowly. And the poorly differentiated is a completely different disease. They really have nothing to do with the well differentiated uh, neuroendocrine tumors. But the grade and the differentiation are two different things and they supplement each other. So I think we always need to do both and there's a lot more interest in doing both now. So all poorly differentiated tumors are high grade. Not all high grade tumors are poorly differentiated. This is incredibly important and has become even more important in recent years. We often say in medical oncology that we are prisoners of our pathologists and that their interpretation of the specialist is critical to the information that we use to guide our patients. It's very difficult to know if you have a good pathologist and frequently um, it means relying on a neuroendocrine tumor medical oncology specialist to make sure that the specimen is read by the right person and interpreted in a, in a clear and consistent way. We encourage a second opinion pathology review. So I would say that there is expertise that is required for reviewing pathology. So that is a, um, a key take home. Um, this is just an example of what the pathologists look at under the microscope um, and it's sort of looks just like an abstract picture probably for many of you, but um, the pathologist can tell the difference between these three, between grade one, grade two, and grade three based on these special stains.